right now, people are using a lot of chips, GPUs, TPUs from Google, for example. They just dropped the sixth generation of Trillium, I believe. These are flexible, but that comes at a cost. So if you want to boost the math capabilities, you need to be less programmable, but that does also make you more efficient in the process. Right. We're taking a bet. At Etch, our chip is not programmable. It does one thing and one thing only, and that is run transformer inference. But in exchange, it gets much higher throughput and much better time to first token latency. And for folks out there who don't know what that means, essentially, if you're doing inference, it allows you to have the results come back more quickly, as I understand it. You got it. It means okay. that both you can serve way more users with the same amount of servers, or you can go and give your results back to each user way faster, an order of magnitude more than new NVIDIA Blackwell GPUs. Those Blackwell GPUs have been rolling out basically in the last quarter or so. So you're saying that what Etched is building could be an order of magnitude better than not old NVIDIA tech, but what's state of the art right now that people are paying, I mean, I mean, honestly, hundreds of thousands of dollars per unit for. Oh yeah, again, it's a trade-off. NVIDIA is a great company. And their chip does so many things better than ours do. We can never run ResNet. We can never run physics simulations. What we are good at is running transformer inference. And there, we will outperform by 10x. And this is why I'm calling the company a bet. Because if transformers remain the bedrock of most AI models out there, you guys are building a technology that I could see having almost infinite demand. But if the world of AI moves away from transformers, you guys could be sitting ducks. So I'm curious about the, the level of confidence you have in Transformers retaining their primacy in the AI game today compared to when you started the company, because uh, people are working and there's always new things coming up. So I, I'm just curious how much you guys are like, yeah, Transformers, the correct place to bet the company. Well, when we first started the company, it was a much riskier proposition. We began this company midway through 2022. Back when uh, there were some Transformers like GPT-3, but when there was no big demand yet, GPT-3 hadn't found a use case. There was no chat GPT. Mm -hmm. So as a result, you had all the risk, but none of the benefit. So you guys were jumping off, hoping to find a parachute on the way down, and then chat GPT comes out and voila, you guys must have felt like absolute geniuses when a transformer-based consumer AI product went from zero to literally the talk of the entire world overnight. Well, it was certainly good for us, don't get me wrong, and helped <laughs> us raise a round of seed funding, but there was still a lot of risk. Transformers were one key technology. Other things ran differently. Uh, stable Diffusion, for example, was a unit. Maybe that was oh, the future. Okay. Stable Diffusion 1, 1.5, and 2 were all units. Dolly was a unit. So we weren't clear what would happen. But over the course of 2024, I think we really saw the bet crystallize. Stable Diffusion 1, 1.5, and 2 were all units. But on Stable Diffusion 3, it turned out the Transformers worked better. And they've been Transformers ever since. Or video generation. I'm sure that you saw Sora. Of course. The breakthrough that Sora had was using a transformer for video generation. That was the secret sauce. They talk about it in the Sora blog post. I missed that. 